it's kind of like a dance for me. Dancing with the assistant, dancing with glass, I engage my whole body with creating something. Coming to the United States, English is not my primary language. Often I deal with times that I don't know how to express my feelings. And then I found that glass has become my language. To think of the characteristic of glass of fluidity, transparency, ephemeral, those ideas is something that I want to express larger. We call it glass-based thinking. You work with glass, but you think of glass, and then your final piece might not be glass itself, but your thinking process. For the first year, I've been trying like some like uh, micro lens in a really, really close shot. During that time, I didn't think of them as a final piece. They are just a good documentation. But after the second year, when COVID strike, when we turn into remote, I start to think about how am I going to show my work to the audience that cannot be present. And then I start to work with image and video much, much more. I use glass to talk about the taboo of sexuality. The education I receive in Asia, in Taiwan, is more victim blaming. Why does this sexual assault happen to you? Because you, you let the guys in. So it's more like blaming like why you didn't protect yourself enough. But I feel like that is totally wrong. It doesn't matter like what you wear or what you do. It's like basic respect for other human beings. So the title of my show is Aphrodite. Aphrodite, yeah. How did you come up with that name? Uh, because most of my work is uh, about sensuality and then uh, eroticism. So I feel like this is a good title for um, talking about desires. At first I was thinking about using Eros as my show title name, but I realized that Eros means just only relate to sex on the bed. But I feel like Aphrodite is like the pleasure in every moment. I like to leave space in my work that audience can put their thoughts in. For example, like in the show, the most frequent question I receive is, where's the glass? I mean, this everywhere is in the video, it's in the picture, it's in the image. But people are saying that, where is physically the glass that I can see? Seeing a glass exhibition, it's not just seeing a sculpture itself. The video and the image, they are as valuable as the sculpture. I want to say to the audience, just enjoy and then use your own interpretation. because I saw like no one's gonna like only a few people my classmates or my professor they will come but actually a lot of my friends from Taiwan they also come to the show people haven't hang out for so long like during COVID and then I'm glad that I provided space and this opportunity so everyone can just hang out over here I keep thinking that I need to be more prepared to call myself an artist. But here, you are already an artist, and then you need to treat yourself as an artist. Don't think that you are not qualified.